Hey everyone, this is Vikerman, and we're back with Kerbal in space. In Stellaris, I should say. We are the Kerbal race, the government's peaceful xenophiles, and we shall explore the universe. Here we can see our uh, yes. Very similar to uh, other Paradox titles. We can click the little emblem here for our main menu. So let's check our ruler, Jebediah Kerman. Uh, this stuff, these traits here are randomized to start. Architectural sense, minus 15% build cost, and plus 10% food, uh, which is great because uh, we can start out. I think one of the best things to do in a game like this at first is to get as much population as you possibly can. I think that's a great way to start. Uh, so we should have a bonus to how quickly we have increased population because we're rapid breeders. And we have a bunch of food bonuses. So we're consuming seven because we have seven pop. Uh, looks like it's one per pop. And our surplus food is going to give us more population. Here we can we check out the surface. Of this planet's surface divided into tiles. This tab is only visible on colonies and surveyed yep, yep, yep. worlds that are uh, habitable. Each pop, pop occupies a single tile. tile, which means that there can never be more pops on a planet than there are free tiles. Okay, so we've got our population spread out on the different tiles to work them. Uh, now this thing means this region is covered by vast shanty towns and slums. It contributes nothing to society. Uh, you have to pay to clear that before you can work the tile. But you can see what it would create for you if you did. So that's an engineering research spot. Uh, we've got... This is the capital, basically. And it gives you three minerals, three food. Cool. Also, tiles that are adjacent get a bonus to minerals, food, or energy based on what they're creating. So you can see we've got this tile has a base one energy produced for it. There's a power plant built on it, which is the building here. That's going to give us three more energy. And then since it's adjacent, you get uh, another one. I'm going to move this guy here momentarily. Uh, I guess that we won't be able to tell that. I wanted to see if we had an adjacent this way. I'm not entirely certain about that. But since it's not a bonus to engineering research, we can't really tell that. So this has a farm. We've got a lot of food coming in. Uh, kind of would like to have more food. Uh... Let's see if we can build... Hey, can we build a Some farm here? May cause adjacency effects to other buildings in neighboring tiles. Let us take this into Now, 200. Is that 200 days? Is that what that stands for? I think... I'm, that's time for sure. But I'm not 100% sure if that's days. I think so. So in this tile, I think I'm going to build another farm. And that is that costs us some stuff, but I think we're going to be okay. And that should help the growth out just a bit. Getting three energy right now. Up, down, left, and right. Okay, so adjacency is... Oh, and I can see it here. There we go. Yeah. And it does show it. You're right. So diagonal does not give you an adjacency bonus. Capital world, some percentage. Ethics diverging versus chance that this pop will change ethics. Negative number means the pop is likely to conform to the empire's ethics. It's no normally a good thing. So it's uh, negative one, which is pretty good. I guess, I guess that means there's no chance. 
Uh, this is armies, we do have one. On this planet. The upper portion of this view is divided into three sections. The one top army section on the represents planet. the orbital space above the planet. The middle section is we the atmosphere. No armies on the, the surface that can embark. Surface. Okay, so we'll just kind of leave this alone for now, but just the to know that it's there. Tab is where we view orbiting uh, spaceport. New ships Here's our spaceport, actually. Itself. If a planet has no spaceport, we can order the construction of one if we have the necessary resources. Military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire. From okay, so that just takes me to the fleet. We have three arms. corvettes. It and we can build more ships. Should have a little bit of a bonus here. Right? No. Sorry. Was thinking about something else. Okay, so let's check out the galaxy so we can see our hyperspace map. Uh, apparently that is, you can't just zoom out. Okay, so we are on the arm. Ooh, yeah, we've got a lot of choke points here uh, because of our hyperspace FTL travel here. This is a nice map too. And it looks like, at least visually, some of the stars are, like, higher than others. That's cool. And what's the hotkey there? M or E. Okay. Okay, that, yep, yeah, I like that. Okay, first order of business. We want to click on the... This is science, science ship. ship. Let's check out. To we got anomaly research speed plus 50% and fail risk minus 25%. That's pretty good. It won't help us with survey speed, but once we find something, this person will be able to uh, to really help that out. Okie doke. So they are surveying our home system. Maybe we'll find some interesting things here. This is our and the construction ship. ship. To construct space stations. When an they can't really do anything at the moment. Has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. Build an observation post. Uh, so this is for primitive societies. Okay, we'll get there if we ever find them. Our Corvette fleet is just sort of hanging out at the moment we could go and see if they can just pop their head into one of these other systems I think I'm gonna do that we we'll want to watch out for it so they don't get killed by space monsters and other than that let's is there more improvements that we can do I think that's maybe the way to go well, let's check out science. The technology screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. So, Technologies are what have we into here? Three different fields. Energy storage capacity and power plant level two. That could be useful. Quantum theory gives us. Okay, what do you, your your experience is in void craft, which we don't have anything like that available at the moment. You can see the specialty for each uh, tech, which I think is a cool idea. So he's not going to give us super, super good speed at any of this stuff, but we may as well research it. Uh, solar panel network. That's a module uh, for the space station that will give you energy. Well, that's kind of nice, but maybe physics lab might be the way to go. Yeah, uh, let's do solar panels first. And for society, this person has military theory as their specialty. Biolab. Maybe that's the way to go. Monthly influence plus one. Oh, that's really nice. 
because it influences uh, political clout used for edicts, recruiting leaders, building frontier outposts, and dealing with factions. Fairly constant throughout the game, but can be slightly increased by upgrading planetary capital buildings and declaring other empires your rival. I think we'll study that first. Just to get that monthly influence going as soon as possible. We have, we are natural engineers, so we have a bonus to uh, engineering that's quite good. He also gives us 10% research speed increase, which is, that is excellent. So we should be pretty good here with engineering. Uh, the ion thruster is, that's a component, right? Yes, that will increase your non-warp speed, sublight speed. So that gives you quicker ships, uh, mining network two. I think maybe we wanna, we wanna research mining first so that we can get more resources to build more stuff. Makes a lot of sense to me. So we shall unpause and let things go. Let's see what the survey ship finds. And our... Oh, can they, can they uh, hyperspace from any, they don't have to hyperspace from the edge. That's pretty nice. Let's just kind of wander around here a little bit. At least that sure is what that appeared to be, that they could just warp from the planet to the hyperspace lane. There's nothing immediate here. So let's check out that one. Cool. And I believe if there are monsters or anything in here, they like tell you that immediately on entering the system. So I think this system is probably just a new world because you can't move to other planets without it and the tech tree is random. Oh yeah yeah because that's the uh, technology that lets you colonize yeah, maybe we should change that to make sure that we. The leader's tab lets us Whoops. hire, dismiss, nope, and the nope, faction's nope, tab. Nope, nope. Yeah, that way we'll at least be able to colonize if we find anything colonizable. Entering Hyperlane. That's cool, it shows you the, the percentage. Yeah, I think that makes sense, so we can make sure we expand the empire. Oh cool, it shows both. So what are you doing? Surveying Campira. Go here. Whoops, there we go. Uh, here. Construction hmm. complete. Finished surface construction. Excellent. 
So we should be getting more food growth. Growth 9 out of 40. So... Okay, 100% habitability, always good to see. We should... Uh, can we build anything here? What if we built a... Let's build a power plant here to make sure we have enough energy going forward. I bet this system is pretty valuable. All these big asteroids. Yeah, dismiss. Okay. Let's check out this one. Our little sector of the galaxy seems fairly peaceful at the moment. We'll see if that remains the case. We have found an anomaly. An From anomaly. Time time, our science ships will discover strange During the survey of the home system, we found something on Ligura that did not match earlier observations made from our home world. Are up to the task. Zero percent failure rate, which is pretty sweet. Let's uh, let's do it. Situation updated. Some form of alien vessels in Kunbar. Alpha aliens, we should proceed with caution. United Kerbal States has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Now that's nice, I bet that has to do with our nomadic ethos. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Kerbin following the report from our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. All right, what what are they? What, what's going on here? Wait, where is uh, Kunbar? <clears throat> These are unknown spacefaring entities. We can learn more about them and maybe even initiate first contact. By we need to study the these aliens through a special project. project before we can hope to understand their technology and learn how to communicate with them. The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New items. So that will suspend, I think, the society research, but it might be a good thing to do. Especially since we're xenophiles. Let's just go ahead and do that. I guess we can see them because they are within our influence sphere. So that just delayed our survey. Okay, that is good. Ooh, Volk Kaskan. Planet has not been surveyed. Twenty percent hab hab habitability. Habitability. We found one of our old probes in Liguria. It's somehow kept intact all these years and is still trying to send data to our homeworld. Stands as a testament to our past struggles and our wish to flee our planet's bounds. We should continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies whenever we get the chance. Most assuredly, grant us new knowledge and technology. Okay, I guess, did we not really get anything from that? All right, so this is far enough away that we have no idea what it is, which is pretty sweet. We're gonna go look at it.
Entering orbit of Fentaroga. Oh, we're still paused. Whoopsie. Okay, so if we go to Kerbin. Okay, it looks like Ligura is has some minerals. So it kind of makes sense to see if we can build on there. Because we can't we can't yeah, zero percent habitability for Kerbals. Now it's possible that we may find another alien race that would be able to live there, but currently that's just not a possibility. Karzit. We have discovered it. System survey complete. Extraction complete. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Kerbin has finished service construction. Fully surveyed Kerbal. So, let's now go to Kunbar and we'll survey that. And I'm not seeing the icon for potentially habitable world. I'm not sure if it needs to survey before, before that even shows up. But so far, we have not found any habitable worlds. It does not have Arctic colonization. If we got Arctic colonization, though, this system would have two planets for us. Okay, I'm going to go here, just so we don't stray too far from home. Anomaly found. All right, we've got level two. We found an anomaly. 50% failure risk right now. Does that, does that not, it says just says the base rate. So does that not take into account your trait? Let's wait. So you, have you finished? No, okay, good. All right, keep going. Special project complete. Spaceborne life forms, which the Kerbal Head of Society Research has come to refer to as Tiyanki, are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace. They roam from system to system with relative ease, though nearly the same ease as Kerbal fleets. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. Highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely if ever attack, even when provoked, they can safely be ignored. Cool. And you should be charging hyperspace. Mining station complete. Whoa, this is a big system. We've got Baron. Baron, Toxic, Molten, Gas Giant. Do you have a moon there? Looks like it's Baron, probably. Baron, Baron, Toxic. Okay, it's a, it's a big uh, star system, but System survey. Doesn't seem complete. to be that valuable. Let's let's do the loop. 
We've completed the system survey in Kunbar. So we'll go there. Anything to mine or whatnot? No. Alien whoa, whoa, whoa. We've encountered some alien vessels. Are we under attack? Hostile fleet. Whoa, look at that thing. Okay, well, let's charge the hyperdrive and get the heck out of here. In fact, we shall just head home. Okay, got it. Anomaly on Kunbar, yeah, I know. There's an ocean world. As our science ship scans the surface of Avexus 6, it becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. Its composition and history provides it with extra materials that we should take opportunity to gather. We will surely come across even more irregularities like this as we survey new planets. It should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Ooh. Engineering research we can do on this planet. So I'm guessing we can just build a a station here, right? And we want to build research station collect physics society and engineering research a little box you can check by your face that will pop oh okay down here at the bottom yes that's helpful thanks uh we can certainly afford this and seems like a no-brainer to go ahead and do that uh, let's go back to Kerbin. We probably have, well, we gotta have be almost, yeah, we're close to having another population. Just about everything we have here is looking like it is, yeah, we may need to go ahead and clear some of this stuff out. Mm, well, let's wait. So, engineering. And we got 54 months remaining. That's a long time. So, it looks like maybe a limiting factor we have is society research. So, I think we should clear this out so that we can build a science station there. And we'll, ha we'll have another pop very, very soon. Oh, we got physics research here. System survey. Complete. Minerals, and this is colonizable. Well, heck, we need to do that. Toxic kelp. We've made a research station. Uh, let's do that again, if we can afford it. Construction complete. Research station on this one. To get us some physics points and then if we we will need more minerals but once we do we can build another mining no no not gonna do that because we are gonna colonize this place once we get the ship the colonization ship so we'll see if we can gain a level for our science dude. We 
Wait, did I just send him here? Whoops. Did you build your station? No. Cancelled it, I think. Frontier outpost used to claim uninhabited star systems and expand your borders. It's going to be built in orbit around a star. No, no, no. Here we go. All right, good. Good, good, good. We get that going. And surveying this station. Research complete. Geothermal fracking. Anomaly found. Hold up. 20% failure rate. That is not bad. Yeah, go ahead. We'll assign some new engineering research. Let's do... Corvette assembly yards will increase your Corvette speed. Upgrade your spaceport. That's useful, but perhaps a bit... Not necessary. Uh, reveals Batharian stone, strategic resource. Rare stones deposited on many worlds through meteor strikes. They burn very slowly and are very efficient energy sources. And if you have that, you can burn it for uh, quite a lot of energy. But I think maybe I'll do the engineering facility first. Uh, because we do have a spot on Kerbin that will give us a bit of a bonus for that. Alright, Kerbin. Let's build a science lab. And that should now give us two society research. And we'll move this guy here. Science officer Valdrig den Voth Vothrog has provided us with a detailed report on Landing 3's geological riches. Apparently the planet's unique tectonic history has served to concentrate many minerals of interest to the KSS Calder near the surface. Raw materials modifier to Landon 3. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, we need to settle here, too. Dangerous wildlife. And you have not finished surveying that system, that's fine. Potentially habitable. Completed the research station here. Good. There was nothing to build here. Landing 5 is not habitable for us. Currently, although we wouldn't do too bad there, to be honest. But I suppose it's probably worthwhile to build another station there. Of course, we don't have the resources for it. So we won't do it just yet. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is survey this one. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Research oh, complete. Oh, nice. Zero percent uh, failure. 
I am okay with that. We finished our physics research. Fusion reactor. Uh, that's probably a more efficient thing for our uh, ship's power supply. Global energy management. Energy storage capacity. Power hub. Produce energy credits on their own, but more importantly, increase the overall energy credit output of the planet that seems pretty good i think we'll research that and build it on kerbin because we've got quite a few power stations already complete completed construction here and as i expected we are all set with that So, it seems like maybe I would want to build this new building on this tile. Because we'll get a bonus for that terrain. Uh, and it will increase that one and that one. And that one. And that's good because we have zero credits right now. We're running a little below. Uh, maybe we should build the solar panel arrays on the... Yeah, this, the star system. Or, star base. Discovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization. Ooh. I'm told that there are several different possibilities for precursor races in the game. Uh, so I'm excited to see what we have. Uh, let's see. Must have been active in this region of space approximately 12 million years ago. Judging by the age of the artifacts. What we've been able to piece together are scientists theorize that these aliens who called themselves the Voltom Star Assembly were worm-like annelids, roughly three to four meters in length, that communicated with each other primarily through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Huh. Situation log updated. That is pretty strange. We've recovered ancient we can find enough relics from their civilization, maybe possible to pinpoint the location of their home system. Okay, cool. So I think we're gonna put a cut here, but uh, we're gonna keep the stream going. It's just for YouTube purposes. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time in Stellaris.